right, today's July the 13th. It's day six here in Africa. And we're in a new in a new hide, they call them here. Blind, whatever you prefer, but we're in here today after some, uh, some orcs, hopefully. Orcs or zebra, but orcs is primarily what I'm looking for, so. We just got in here, Zach's gone to park the truck, he'll walk back here in a minute. We got a couple visitors, a couple visitors in the blind here with us today. squirrels but uh, they're not hurting anything we're invading their space apparently it's been just an awesome time here in Africa can't wait to come back again hopefully next year or the year after we're definitely gonna come back again and do this again it's an incredible time so we're gonna get settled in and hopefully we'll see some animals here very soon
All right, day six, just shot an oryx. This is Zach's wife. Hello, I'm Louise. Louise, I'm sorry, <laughs> name slipped my mind for the moment. It's okay. Louise, she just got here and uh, we just got out of the blind. We're gonna walk over here and see what the area looks like. What do you think, man? He was absolutely, he was standing right here when I shot him. He was his track. He walked up perfect, man. There's blood immediately. Look at that. He's bleeding. Yes. All right. So we shot this thing right at dark. I mean, it was, like I said, these things love to come into the water super late and they're going to come in super cautious. And today's day six, and this is the first orcs we've seen all week, other than riding around. But this is the first one that's come into water. And uh, I was about to give up hope today. And Zach looked up and said, here comes one. He's laying right up here. Let's go look at him. We walked up here and found him. About 15 minutes ago, we walked back because we forgot the light, so just an incredible animal. This thing has been on my bucket list from day one that I knew I was coming to Africa. This was the, probably next to the kudu. This this was number one on my list. But tonight, this guy, he, he made an appearance. He came in, gave me, initially gave me a 20-yard shot broadside, but he turned and wheeled around and he walked into the water and gave me a 15 yard shot. Just perfect. I hit him right in the boiler room and uh, he actually went down within about maybe 100, 150 yards of the blind here. And I had to put a second shot in him. He was still still moving a little bit so I went ahead and just put one more shot in him because <laughs> he's a big animal and I don't want to lose him. Zach told me several times this week that these guys come in, it's going to be the last light. And sure enough, this finally, after six days of hunting, on the sixth day today, we were uh, just starting to get ready to start packing up and uh, Zach looked up and saw this guy coming. And at first I thought we were gonna thought he was gonna circle around and get behind us and come in downwind of us, but luckily he, he come on out in front and got great footage of him. He walked right up and uh, gave me a perfect broadside shot. I was scared he was gonna face, face us in the, at the water hole, but he actually came around and gave me a perfect broadside shot. And uh, man, I just, I can't be any more happy, humbled and just having an awesome time here in South Africa, Tom Miranda hunting camps, Zach Grobler. It's just been an awesome week, awesome time. I, I surely, surely appreciate it, Zach. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a great pleasure, though. You made a perfect shot. Thank you. Just had enough light, the sun sitting in the background, so well done. Thank you. Just a storybook ending. I couldn't have, I couldn't have wrote the story ending any better. Awesome time.